of the deep state, or if you want to call it Illuminati, whatever name you want to call it. So the ultimate player, they they chose IET to be their backyard or to be what you were considered their home. So I don't know if you guys remember, it was around mid this year, and Clint, um, Chelsea Clinton, which is supposed to be their daughter, she was threatening that if Trump keep moving the way he's moving, that she about to leave the United States to go live in IET. So that should tell you that's their backyard and they definitely have everything under control over there. So now we backtrack to what I was saying from before. What causes whatever happened in IET that mirror the United States? Now you got to understand United States is cancer and IET is Capricorn. So this is fire and water. This is why both flag have the red and white and blue. It's because they are operated in the same egregore or they operate in the same force field. Now, one thing's for sure, you got to understand, not only IET is located in the middle of the earth, which means whatever energy that spiral out from IET going to influence the rest of the world. But what we need to understand also is how human body operates. So we are what you consider walking force field or walking vibrations or antennas. So each of us is resonated. So we give in a, a frequency out of our body. Every time our heart beat, we give in the rhythm. And from the rhythm, the rhythm, the rhythm create a ripple effect. And from that effect, we are influencing each other or influencing the, the environment or the force field. IET have the majority of its people living in America more than any other Caribbean nation. So the creation of America, the birth of America, IET was involved in it. When it comes down to the root folks, when you talk about spirituality of America, the root spirituality of America come from IET also. So basically those two is one of the same. They are tied together within the DNA of spirituality. So whatever effect one will take place to the other one. So what I'm talking about, when we come down to this election, see, first of all, there's a major scandal going on in IET that this young lady that's supposed to be get assassinated, she got raped, kidnapped, raped, assassinated, and dumped on the piss, I mean, on a pile of trash. Now, this become national media all over and people all over the, the internet, including all over, trying to give, you know, you know, condolences for like, they're trying to definitely show love and for the loss of their family. So what I mean by that, you got to understand, this young woman didn't die by coincidence. It's just a ritual they conducted. Now we got to know that before the death of this young woman, before they you know, announced her death, it was on a full moon. And right now we have what we call, they turn IET to the capital of ritual. They turn this nation as the ritual nation of the world. That means you have a lot of groups of people come from all over the world, mostly what you consider the pillars of Masonic or Satanists, they usually go to IET and they perform in their ritual over there because they understand this area, what you call IET, it's a realm. It's a realm. It's, a, it's, it's, it's definitely a dimensional realm where whatever they conduct in that land, it take effect in the world. So this young woman was definitely sacrificing a ritual. But this ritual is much more deeper than what people think. Now they need to balance it. Now they need a, a male. See, she was a woman. They, they so-called, they found her dead because, you know, it was a form of sacrifice. But now they need a male. Now they said they captured the person that did that to her was her boyfriend. Now they supposed to be allegedly capture him. And the funny thing is the guy that captured him, they have like a warrant for him. That guy that ended up fine, they call him the killer because understand if he did it, he had to go to trial. They don't even want to go to trial with him. They said that, you know, they was like they put a, a, um, a warrant for him. So they was looking for him, quote unquote, they found him. But the guy that ended up catching him or get him or they was looking for him, this guy himself, the police department have a warrant to harass him. See, just to show you the lawless environment that's going on down there. But this guy that's supposed to be catch him, they call him barbecue, barbecue, because he have that nickname by cooking people, usually because, you know, he's just one of these gang members. Like he's a part of a 
gang affiliation they call the G9. So it's pretty much I, Hades right now, IT, it's pretty much running by gang members. And the government aligned itself within the gang and they control every aspect of the nation. So that guy that catch him is the leader of the gang. So he catch so-called catch the killer of that young girl. Now, the funny thing is that guy, for people that know from here, he always carry a Masonic chain on his neck. Like he tell you straight up, he's a Mason. So now ask yourself, this girl just died. And they said the boyfriend killed him. Less than 24 hours, they catch the boyfriend. And they two young kids. So now they're asking to kill this kid in the retaliation. Off bat, I automatically know it's a ritual they're conducting. So they take two young kids and they're about to sacrifice it for a ritual. Now people need to find out, okay, so what the hell is this? First, the, this guy that catch him, like I said, he have a warrant on his head. Why not get after him? Because he's a gang, but they ignore him because they know what they're doing is a ritual. Here's the ritual they're trying to perform. They're trying to perform a blood ritual. This, this little young girl died in a full moon. Now they need this young boy because it's to conduct what we consider the full moon and the half moon that's about to come. Because it's all part of the ritual. Because why? Right now we're about to witness what we call the red scarlet lilith ritual they're about to conduct understand why they want to do this those that run in this system we call the deep state they they backyard is it this is where they control everything over there so the people that conduct magic for these people they still here they're still in it understand the lilith scarlet ritual they're about to do they call it the red scarlet and that's the reason why now we're gonna go after that the rise what we call the rise of the new male the new male, I told y'all, is the female. Female is the new male. And the new the new women now is the male. It's because it's the rise of the red, reds call it what we considered Lilith era. Now, every nation, if you want to become powerful or if you're about to lead the world, you have to ride the red call it or you have to ride the whore. They call it the whore, Lilith, whatever you want to call it. But you got to ride her. Okay. Or you have to kill her one way. That's your Brigitte. You got to do that. America is known. She's a cancer. She's feminine. Okay? She's feminine. And your Statue of Liberty represent America. Okay? China want to take over. Did you not realize every great nation you have to conquer America to declare yourself the, the supreme ruler of the world? There's a reason why all of them come to America. When the Spanish was declared the dominance of the world, they come to America. When the French was ruling the world, what did they do? They come to America. When the British want to rule the world, what they do? They come to America. Now it's the turn of the Chinese. They want to come to America. But how are they going to do it? They have to make sure they implode it in order to do it. They're going to use their wealth to control every game. Game, what we call the game is people playing the game with them, the players. All your major, your deep state, whatever you call deep state, they are being funded by these people. What we call the Chinese um, currency system. They control that. So these two kids, they're just about like this young girl that died. This is the beginning of it. They are still doing a major ritual. Why I'm saying this, they have this woman. She's, I think she is um, Trump um, spiritual advisor. She was saying that she needs to get the African spirit to help protect Trump so Trump can get, because they know it's dark magic. She said African spirit to bring, she praying so the African spirit help to protect Trump from what's happening. Listen, people, this is no fucking joke. No joke. This shit's going down. Now, let's just talk about what's going now right now in the politics. First of all, I'm watching the news I told y'all from my last live before all of this happened. I told y'all the, the media <laughs> going to come up with shit to completely reverse the game. And I said it. And it's happening right now. OK, so shout out to you that they came from everywhere. OK, so I told y'all from the last live that the media going to manipulate some shit to create tension in which they do exactly that. Now, I've been watching all over from the social media and all over. One thing's for sure is when you're looking at the map. If you're looking at the map, they're showing you the voting map. The first thing that come in mind is like how ridiculous the map look because it's completely red. You'll see there's more state, like 
you saw the map is completely red. Does that mean he won more state than the numbers showing that he's losing? But guess what? That's what the, that's the power of the media. Every media hate the man, so it's obvious. I mean, it's common sense. Why would the media tell you he win when they don't like him? That means they're going to have to pull the strings. Now, we need to understand what is at stake right now. We have to pay attention to what's really going on. Did you guys know if this guy become president, a lot of shit going to change? So even if they know, I know we they are all corrupt. They trying to rig the shit, but we got to play like we just got to act like we one of them. It's obvious they got to rig it. What are they going to do? Now, here's the funny thing. Now, if you guys looking at like one of the craziest shit, it's about how a lot of people's making a lot of memes all over. People's making memes, they just all over, you know, trying to act like, oh, Trump talking about, oh, stop the stop the count, stop the count. See, the funny thing about, like, what we're not talking about, these ballot was actually early ballot that they sent out. That mean early vote. They could easily count them shit from the moment they have them, but they don't. It's because they doing exactly what's happening right now. I told people before, I don't give a fuck about Trump or Biden because whoever gets president, it doesn't matter. They all have an agenda. My point is we are witnessing one of the biggest events of our time because we are witnessing people tempering with the Constitution. And I tell people before, whatever's happened in Haiti is taking mirror right now. Right now, Haiti is contemplating of changing the Constitution. And what you're seeing right now is happening here in America. All of this fiasco is for one reason. Is to make sure they destroy that constitution of the United States. Because if you destroy the constitution, then the people don't have no goddamn rights. Then they be able to control people and do whatever they want. We still being protected by the constitution. But in IET, you still have a lot of people that not, you know, they couldn't read. Their literacy is very high. So it's a lot of people that don't know their rights. So a lot of things they could not hold the constitution accountable against these corrupt politicians. They don't know any better. So they just keep riding with whatever they gave them because, you know, the poverty level is high too. So if you don't know what is what you're going to eat, you're not going to worry about anything else, you know. It, that's the game. So what I'm saying is like these polls, you have people like specifically our people. I'm looking at because, you know, we I mostly have black friends anyway. So I'm looking at most of our people don't understand what's really happening. And it hurts me because it's not because it's about Trump or, or Biden. I'm looking at that. We as a people are the most vulnerable people between within the system. And what I notice is like most of the problem that we have within the system, it's the lack of knowledge or lack of demanding the reinforcement of the constitution. A lot of shit that happened to us is because we're not demanding the constitution to go by us or to force them to tell the truth. And if they tell the truth, then we go to war. But we never do that. A lot of people will tell you the game, oh, man, whatever's in the Constitution, it, it, it don't go by us. It, 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 the Constitution was not written for us. But guess what? Let's enforce it to the point that they're going to have to force to tell us the truth if we're not a part of it so we can burn this bitch off. But guess what? We never do that. We play the dumb game, play the victim, because victimization is another form of we moving you away from the right that is yours. It's all strategic. That's why the me it's all part of the me. That's why they stage those shit. It's all Hollywood production and all of this shit is staged because what they really much doing is create a victimization groups of people. So they create a category for you. So basically you don't even give the constitution a trial or even put yourself in a position to demand the constitution to cover you. You automatically give that shit up. Like, man, fuck that, man. They, they don't care about it. Or they all, we always play that victimization, that aspects of it. And that's why a lot of shit don't go the way we supposed to have it for. So what I'm saying with this is like, all of this shit is happening. Who you think is the most to get suffer out of it if we not rally behind the Constitution? And I said it before. A lot of people was like, well, you know, Trump is the, he's one of the same. They are working together, which is, it can be possible. But one thing's for sure. This is the first time in the history of America we are witness what we're witnessing. That means it's a straight up coup that's happening right now. It's obvious. We never saw, we still don't have a president for two days. Okay? This don't happen. If you stop this shit, it's because you're plotting this shit. Now, here's the inside info I'm about to tell you all that. Most of you guys probably already know, but some of you guys, if you guys don't know, then you're going to hear it. Did you know that since last year, Trump predicted what's happening? He predicted this shit because he knew 
come on, he's Bruce Wayne. He know he have intel about the situation. He knows shit gonna happen because these folks they receive indictments, folks. A lot of these people are about to get locked up. So what do you think they're gonna do? This is the final straw. They have to do something because they're about to get locked up. It's, it's over. So it's like a lot of us don't need to need to worry about shit because whatever they already plan this shit ahead. They're about to get fucked up. So they have to finally pull out their last card and do something. So now here's the deal, y'all. We've been around. Wifey vote. We all over the voting around. You know what we notice? I mean, a lot of people here, some of you guys going to say it's probably different from y'all, but from ours, for what we witness. Did you know they don't even ask for ID? You just go out there. You just sign this shit and do your stuff. They don't even ask for ID. They not asking for none of this shit. This is the first time I'm seeing shit like that is being done. So ask yourself, who call these protocols for the shit to go down like that? Because it's planned. That's why they ask. That's why they telling you right now they are counting more voting because you have a bunch of people that's not properly legal to vote or including accepted to be voting right now. They have a bunch of people that are dead right now. Those are dead people within the system. They died long. They have someone in in, in 18, 18 something, eighteen ninety three. That is name pop up as a voter. Strict, strictly fraud. You have a bunch of states. Mostly Democrat states, the register number of people that register to vote and the amount of people that vote it don't even match at all. You have more people voting than those that register to vote. So itself is strictly telling you that some shit like is strictly fraud. Now, I'm not here to take by Trump. I'm here to uphold the Constitution and to make sure that we have a fair game. And the fair game is what? To make sure that if this shit is violate the rights, what more they can do to you? They are strictly violating this constitution and the right. This is my focus. My focus is the right in the constitution. Fuck Trump. But this is what we are witnessing. We are witnessing we are being violated to the highest order. So if they're willing to do this shit, what do you think they're going to do to you when it comes down to vaccination or when it comes down to force some shit to you? This is where we at. This is where I'm at right now. So we are witnessing some crazy ass, draconian, cold blooded ass shit in our time. This shit is crazy. They said they have major ship. We talk about ship, cargo ship that actually bring ballot and voter ballot that comes overseas. They print them shit. They bring them here and having people to vote within those shit. I mean, we are seeing some of these astronomically insane shit that's happening right now into this nation. Now, a lot of people won't tell you, well, you know, it's all lie. Trump is a sore loser. This is how I'm going to put it. I have to be fair. A lot of people going to tell you Trump is a sore loser, right? Ask yourself, why they stopped this shit? Why we still don't have a president? He's a sore loser. They should announce this shit the same day. They should announce it the same day, the third. So if they stop this shit, that tells you something, man, right? He can't be a sore loser because if you go looking at the numbers from that time, from like from the third, all the number was coming in. He was winning all of them. And they stopped. The moment they stopped the shit and we go the next day, he, he, his number never go nowhere. His number stuck from the number and then Biden keep going up, keep going up. So anyone with a simple logic would have tell you straight up some, some shit ain't right. Some shit definitely don't make sense. So my point of this talk is not about Trump and it's not about Biden. It's about this constitution we are witnessing is getting to shred right now. Now, I'm going to explain some possible information or possible explanation based on what's about to go down as far as prediction and what might go down. This is what's going to happen. First, Trump know it. That's why Trump declared that he's going to take it to the Supreme Court. He knows that before. It's not even this aspect of this, you know, the outcome of this election that make Trump call it that he's going to take it to the Supreme Court. Trump knows that. And that's why he makes sure that he have Amy Barrett as one of his pick because the majority of the Supreme Court, half of the shit was already prepared for the Democrat. You have a lot of sleeper cells, a lot of people within. Within the seats of the Supreme Court is for the Democrat. They got the shit on the bag. 
So he got to make sure he puts some of his player to balance the shit out. But now this is what the shit, this is the funny shit and the most crazy shit. Let me show you guys something. That shit just crazy. Just to show you how they prep the shit up. And from the prepping, that the outcome is crazy. This is like one of the person that that tweet this shit. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. If you guys see it, just read it. You guys will be able to see what he's talking about. This is a person in the Congress, like I, I'm in the Supreme Court, Feinstein, something like that. And she's one of the judges in the Supreme Court. She have patent and she's a part owner of the software that control the vote. Okay. And he's against Trump. So the software company, you guys can check it for yourself. Um, it called Avid Technology. Avid Technology. That's the name of the software that she patented and owned. So basically, they control the narrative in the vote. Okay? So that itself should tell you where, where they're going with that. You guys can check this shit. Here's the report from Fox for some people that, if you can't see it, just look. As far as who register to vote and as far as how many people vote and one person in the 1800 was also to this shit. So, off bat, this is where we at. Now, they have a breaking news in Philly. Just read, this guy is a very incredible source. Very credible source. He's saying that in Philly, they're having people counting those ballots in Philly. They not allow anybody from Trump team to get inside of that room in order to have the count. So while they would not allow those people to get in there because they know they're doing what they're doing. So they don't want other people to get involved. So, so all of this shit, it's all argument for a greater cause. Now, this is a Trump tweet again. Look at the date. You have one in 2019. You have one way before the election. He predict the shit. Okay. Now we're going to have a grown talk analysis. We're going to analyze the situation. Now, this is all him talking. Okay. So here's the deal. Let's just say. It's not just say. It's going to happen. He's going to take it to the Supreme Court, yo. So. This is what's going to happen. The job of the media, the reason why the media just did what they did to show you that Trump is losing, it was well calculated. It was not something that they just decide to just do or they just know. They know they have to do this because their job is to prep people. They're trying to, they're trying to, they're trying to get you hyped. They're trying to get those people hyped. Their job was solely for that. They know they, they're not going to be able to win. Off bat, they know this election they would have lose. Fact because they shit is out the basket, it's out the hat. They know the truth. The world know the truth, but they still gonna have to serve their master, and their job is strictly telling everybody, hoping they can capitalize on the emotion of the American people. Okay, they want to capitalize on the what the emotion because from that emotion, this is what they're gonna do. What create what foot soldiers? They're gonna create soldiers from this emotion. What is that emotion is gonna be? Their job, if there was a clean press, if the media was doing their job, you know what they would tell everybody? They would tell people that even the votes are in, the Supreme Court will decide. They don't say that. They don't even say that Trump have their, his own right as a citizen, as, a, as an American, to take his case to the Supreme Court. They don't want to say that, though. Because they want to make this shit sound like Trump is a sore loser and he just want to he just don't want to leave office. But they're not telling you it's within the Constitution that if he does that, he's not outside the law. They don't want to say it like that. They want to make this shit seem like he just a fucked up ass person, a sore loser that just don't want to give up. That just don't want to walk, take his loss. They just want to keep this shit as like a, a L as possible. Like, yo, take your L and bounce. They want to keep this shit as that. But they're not telling you if there was a. A good press, they should tell you, look, within the Constitution, if the president feel like it's fraud being done, he have its, its right, his administration have the right to take his case to the Supreme Court, which is, is outside from popular opinion, because this is what 
the media is done. The media is working you up, but they ain't giving you facts. So the Supreme Court will decide. This is what they're not telling you. So all this emotion they create within the nation. Now, you have people that don't even want to believe that Trump have that right to take it to the Supreme Court. They don't even want to entertain that idea whatsoever. You know what's going to happen? This is what's your riot going to start. This is where your civil unrest is going to start. This is where your race war is going to start. Because now you're going to find a lot of white people. They're going to be on Trump's side because 90% of white people know the Constitution. Black folks, it's not like we don't know. A lot of us know, but not a whole lot compared to white people. Because in our condition, when it comes to black people, we always been taught and brainwashed that this Constitution we don't fall into the constitution. Like this shit is a white man constitution. That shit is not out because that's what the media been doing to us. Make us denationalize ourselves. Make us afraid to be a part of our own ancestor or our own land. But if you want the constitution to work for you, what you going to do? You enforce the constitution. You demand the constitution or you take your place within it. But if you constantly being brainwashed by the media, you feel like you don't have nothing to do with this shit in the first place. So whatever and then by doing that you have foreign people come from long distance and come here and they ripping fucking benefit out of that shit okay this is the fucking game they play now what's gonna happen this is what's gonna happen trump have a load of evidence this is why he's gonna win this is it's not because of i'm telling y'all right now if it was just for the ballot shit if it was for the media trump lose because who control the media? The same media that don't like him is the one formulate the decision. You're going to get the answer about who's president from the same media that don't like the man. How obvious is that? So I'm not expecting nobody to think that, you know, you're going to hear announcement from the media and believe this shit because it's the same media that don't like him. So it's whatever. This is not a credible source. So off bad, this shit's going to be offset. They're going to go to the Supreme Court. And from the moment he go to the Supreme Court people, Brace yourself because this is the, this is, you know, we all been waiting for that moment, right? When they said, you know, we're going to have trial, we're going to, they're going to expose them. It was this we talking about. Where we in right now, this is the trial they was talking about because now Trump have no filters. He don't have to try to play public opinion because he knows so much and he have so much. Imagine if he come to the media and he said this, this, and this, and that, they're going to downplay the shit. They're going to make this shit look like, well, whatever, man. You just, you talk out of your ass. But the Supreme Court, this is not talk out of your ass anymore. Because this is straight up facts and evidence. And you have all of them. This is why he's taking this case to the Supreme Court. This is how he's going to win. Did you guys know him, that the majority of his ballot have some called watermark? That means they put a chip within those mail. Within those ballot mail. They have a chip on it. That mean everywhere people vote for him or send these stuff, they track them shit. <laughs> so they have evidence, hardcore evidence of his shit being removed. That mean they told his shit away. They track them shit and they figure it out. Those shit was not count. That mean it's straight up treason that they take his vote and they dump it. So he have evidence to prove in the court that those sh those sh mail of all these vote was tracked. They have tracking device on them. So. That alone, he win. It's treason. That alone make him win. That's one. All these laptops that we heard that the media ignore. Oh, he knows this shit. That he didn't want it to go this far. He think like, well, I'm just gonna have an easy walk and be president, and a lot of shit will not be revealed. But I guarantee you, to me, Trump have a sit down with them. I believe they have a meeting, and the meeting are. Trump already create open the can of worm that he couldn't close. And what that can of worm is, too many people believe on this fight. And you know what the people want? People want justice. That means Trump got to give out some players. People want to see someone go to jail. People either don't want to see Obama, Hillary, someone got to go to jail. That's why Trump is still here as president. Or people rally behind him because people want to see one of these players go down. And I believe Trump probably have a negotiation with one of those two. and said, look, this is what I have for y'all. Just like when you when 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 you when you go into prison when when you got a case then you facing charge you facing time and, and they're giving you a, a a deal, I think he probably did that. But the player that he's probably asking, they feel like it's too much to give out these players. 
And they like, you know what? Ledger's trying to steal this bitch because we can't give you these players. And this is where we end up being. I think he probably asked for Hillary or Obama. And those two are the, it's the major players or the key players of the what you, whatever you want to call deep state or whatever you want to call it. And I think from now, that's why before the election, all you see is Obama everywhere. It's obvious they probably pull out the, you know, the deal, pull out out of the deal. So therefore, the last hope or the last resort is to rig the shit in order for them to get back in power and to not facing what indictment. Because all of them received the shit. Now, this is what the media not telling you. The military is behind Trump. <laughs> the military stay behind him. And when Obama was in office, that's why Trump constantly saying this shit. The eight years of Obama, he defund the military. He don't spend a dime on the military. Because they trying to wicking the military so other nation can come here and take over without having power struggle, with, you know, easy walk in. He told you his majority of his money going to the military because he know what he was doing. He know his true defense. Whoever got your back in the military, then that means you're still the one in control. He knows that. That's why Trump keep constantly brag about this shit. Now, this is what the media not telling you, people. And this is the most scariest part. This is one of the alternatives. I'm, I'm going to put it this way. I believe right now Trump already have a standby. I repeat, Trump have a standby executive order that's already written and signed right now. Just be just in case they kill him. I believe you have an executive order signed right now, several of them before something happens to him. And I think that's one of the leverage that he probably already have. One possible scenario. I'm just saying as far as possible scenario. Did you guys know this? Go look at the map. All the map of the state that vote for him. State that he win. Go look in all of these maps. And I guarantee you know what is the most noticeable out of all of these states? All of these states is what you call the engines of America. The engines of America. That means your food. Your gas. Everything from your system to work, they come from state that support him, i.e. mostly the South. If the South is out, America's done. That's the reason why Napoleon was controlling what you call the entire Louisiana and shit. Because this is what America is. All your other part is bullshit. Once you got Texas and you got the whole South, you run America. All your port. All your transportation, I'm talking about your seaport, that means import and export. It's all from the shores of the South. So this is where I'm at with you. Just pay attention. All of these regions got his back. That means they vote for him. Now, let's just say that they said Trump lose and they want to push the narrative and they make people going completely ham. They losing their shit over that. Did you know what's going to happen in the case they kill him? Trump probably signed an executive order to secede every single state that vote for him. Every state that actually vote that he win, each of these states, he probably signed an executive order for each of these states to secede out of the union. People, what I'm saying to you is so crazy deep and it's, it's scary. This is what no one is talking about. The United States have the ability the president have the ability to declare seceding out of the union for whatever state. You know how long Texas was threatened to secede out of the union? The second term of Obama, Texas want to secede out of the union. That means this is one of these conversations that's on the table for a minute. So now you think if Trump lose this election, this is not going to happen? Yo, yo, listen, you guys have no idea. This is the game over right there. So if the entire South declares secession, they secede out of the Union, you know what's going to happen? Every, every blue state going to starve to fucking death. Okay? Every blue state not only going to starve, they will have no fucking resources. Okay? So this is where we at. But we black folks, or a lot of us, we're not educated about the situation. We just we just quick to just follow the wagon because we are our teachers or our influencers or your celebrity or your sport athletes, which they, they already rich. Their job is to make you 
follow a trend, but you have no idea what's really behind it. We're not educated. This is where we at. So if all of these states rally behind this guy and they said, fuck everybody, we declare ourselves independent. Did you know a crazy trouble we all in right now? And I believe this is what Trump have on the table. And this is what's going to cause what we call the militia next civil war. Because every state going to say, I'll be damned to let these people that have been bought and sold by outside influence to come and dictate my nation how to run. And this is what's going to happen. This is a serious scenario. The secession out of the union. That's rule number one. I believe Trump already have that shit signed. And if he's died, that shit's going to come to law. Each of these states that vote for him that he win going to declare they become independent out of this shit. Off bat. That itself is fucking crazy. That's one possible scenario. Scenario number two. You guys heard about Biden said. He gonna declare what you call dark winter, right? What do you guys think dark winter is? <laughs> I mean, I want you to understand. Dark winter, it's eventually the trial. They about to go to trial. And we always talk, talk thinking about, oh, you know, they received the the sorry, the indictment, they gotta face the trial. No. This is where we at right now. Trump taking this case to trial because when he bring that case, it's not only about election that he's going to talk about. He's going to put every shit into the fucking trial. Everything. Even General Flynn going to testify in court. People, if you just don't understand the severity of what we in right now. This was the last possible case of the election. Trump didn't want to go this far. He said that he's going to fire Fauci. That was one of his so-called head that he probably want to cut off. But he just want to just, okay, I'm, I'm back. I just going to take it. He have deals with them. I know it for a fact. He have a plea deal with some of these people. He probably asked for like, okay, I'll take Fauci and I'm probably going to take Hillary. But the rest, you know what? We can deal some. Or he's probably take Biden's son in Fauci. Those probably a scenario of taking deals. But guess what? They want to go play dirty. So they move to the last phase, which is the ultimate dark. This is the end game. Because dead game? Holy shit. I want y'all to understand. There's this episode of this show. Listen, man. The boys. You guys saw the boys, the second season? Did you guys notice that they are, they bring um Highlander? That's how they call it? Highlander, something like that. The guy that played like the Superman, the, the crazy motherfucker that, you know, they bring Vought. Va, they call it Vought. It was like this organization that create superhuman. Or they, they create superheroes. And then from the superhero, they created different nations or different state hired to, you know, to use one of these superheroes and the superheroes guard the place. So now they start having terrorist superheroes. So I hope you guys saw this. The, I mean, this show. I'll talk about it before. And, um, and this pre, like the episode before the final episode, before the season's over, they have this episode where they bring Vaughn. They call them Vault. They bring them to trial. Okay. Did you guys notice they was about to do what? Testify on the trial. Did you know what happened? They start killing every single people inside of their court from not testifying. So guess what? Is this shit is projecting, trying to project program or telling you that they're probably trying to assassinate Trump in trial or kill several people in trial? That was one. Number two, did you guys remember the Justice League? You guys remember seeing the Justice League? It was no, it was not Justice League. It was Batman versus Superman. When they want to have Superman on trial for some of the casualty, what ended up happening? They fucking blow up the goddamn court. <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, these movies trying to tell you a message or trying to prepare you for some shit. They are planning. They blow up the fucking court from not being able to testify against Lex. What Lex Luthor was dealing with. Your Lex Luthor was getting what? Sponsored by what foreign countries? He was, he was a billionaire. He was a corporation. America, who control America? The corporation. 
but they were trying to sanction what the corporation. What Trump trying to go against? A lot of corporation. So they are trying to tell you some shit on these movies. Now, this is what's going to happen. When you heard about the term Dark Winter, what do you think Dark Winter going to be? So you think now, from this election, from this energy this election just give out, Everybody's so caught up into the shit and giving all the energy to it. So now you think the very same group of people, so they so into it, they really believe Trump gonna supposed to lose and he have to bounce. Now he's gonna be the same person going to trial and have to present evidence of fraud. So you think these people are gonna want the world to finally see where they fucking are? This is like this is the final this is the final opportunity that Trump administration have. To really expose these people once and for all. Because they couldn't do it. Because when you think about the media, you can even post anything with Trump name right now. They flag the shit. So the entire big tech industry is completely blocking everything. So off bat, we know we will never be able to see truth. The media completely ignore everything. And if you're trying to post anything, they flag the shit. So off bat, he knows that he will not be able to bring the truth to the, to the world. But going to court on trial to put this shit oh this is a another possible scenario and this is this is one that we just hope didn't happen but these motherfuckers will do anything right now they will do if they have to destroy the fucking world they'll do it it's just to show you how desperate these demons are right now these scumbag if they have to destroy this bitch they'll do it because it's they all cornered to the very end. They have no fucking where to go when it comes down to expose their dirty work. Now, when Biden mentioned Dark Winter, did you know what it possibly mean, y'all? I think that's what it means to me. I think it's a possible EMP attack. I repeat, I think it's a possible EMP attack or a terrorist attack because... All of us going to watch this shit. So dark winter is cut. Just fuck up the grid. So no one watched the, the fucking trial. Because from their trial, they're going to show you every fucking thing. Shit that we were not even capable of seeing. Videos of crazy ass shit. So you think these demons will want the world to really see them undress? Oh, these motherfuckers probably fucking drop an EMP attack. Wipe out the fucking grid so no one see what the fuck happened in court. That's your dark winter. <laughs> so this is where we at, y'all. So this is a very scary situation because most of our people going to be once again used as a front line to get killed for something they have no idea is happening. Throughout history, our people always the front line to go die for shit they have no business dying for. You talk about the Vietnam War, same shit. You talk about the American War. You got a lot of my ancestors, Aisha ancestors come from 80 to come here to fight. Same shit. You have, what, what else, the Gulf War, same shit. The Third World War. Second World War, same shit. So it's always us in the front line to go sacrifice for something that we have no idea because we don't educate ourselves or to know. And as far as right now, that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a lot of like videos posting that people walking around or driving their car with a Trump flag being stopped by black people and almost get lynched by, by black people just because they have a Trump flag. This is where we at. So these folks create soldiers out of us to go die for their demonic agenda. But we have no business involved in that fuck shit. We have no business involved in that shit. But this is where we at. This is what they turn us to be. We have no idea. And it just to show you to me, I think the programming of the American people, specifically black people, is complete. I believe what we call the brainwash, the control, the brainwash, what you want to call it, the MK, whatever, I think they succeed because I don't understand myself and a lot of other people. How come we want to follow or how come we, we back up a party or a group of people 
that not only do so much harm to us or our ancestors, but the same party that incarcerated the most of our young people and still have family that's mourning from this shit till now. And we still rally ourselves behind these people. That shit to me is astronomically mind fuck. I cannot understand this shit and I will probably never understand this shit. If both of us, if black folks would have gave like, because you know, Kanye have what? 1%? He only got 60,000 people vote for him. If we was voting for Kanye, I would be so fucking happy right now because it will show like, we want to back up one another. It will show like we love each other still. It shows like before I vote for both of these devils, I will vote for my own. I will be in a better place today. Talk about that shit more than anything. But we don't. We rather vote for the same guy that lock our people up. This shit is mind fucking blowing. To me, this is the result of a mind control. I think the result of MK. MK succeeding. Now there's a report out there showing I have to go there, sisters. This is not a bash on y'all, but this is tough love that need to bring y'all attention back. Y'all need to wake up. 91% of black women vote for Biden, y'all. 91% of black women vote for Biden. If you guys don't tell me if this shit is not mind control, I don't know what the fuck this shit is. This is strictly, this is what you call mind control at its finest. It's nothing more, nothing less. Because what is the the leading cause of, of the influence of black women. You know what it is? Kamala. A person that locking your children up, a person that identify as Indian, but want to get your vote, then she told you she's black. But to be fair and to be realistic, even though I'm talking, I'm telling truth. I, I don't take sides on nothing. I'm telling truth. Kamala is a black woman. For anyone to think that she's not black woman, you just got to be out of your fucking mind. She's not Indian. And again, what is Indian? I want to say this shit one last time because you have young pharaohs and other people. Indian people is from Ethiopia, okay? Indian people is black motherfucking people. I have to keep said this shit once and for all. Your hair texture does not identify your genetic makeup. Our people have all styles of fucking hair and all style of complexion, okay? Ethiopian come from, I mean, what you call Indian come from Ethiopia, from Sri Lanka, then they move to India. They all fucking African. So this shit right there, we need to lay the shit to rest. Okay? These folks is darker than me. And you have a the reason why a lot of them have straight hair is because of colonial mixing. They usually have curly hair instead of straight. But when the British start to mix with them and the Asians start to mix with them, a lot of them start to have straight hair because of that from colonial era. So off bat, I want to lay the shit to rest. She is a fucking black woman. But she want to align herself because what, when you call the caste system, I said it from previous video, these folks want to always align themselves with the caste system to show that they don't want to be a part of that. They want to claim themselves higher, so they call themselves outside of that. So she want to use the, 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 the navigation way, claim herself Indian just to make herself bigger. But when she want to use the vote, she call herself like, I don't give a fuck about that. It does not matter. What I want you to understand the reason why they chose her is not chosen. This is what the deep state put money behind. Right now, Jamaica is run by China. China run China owned Jamaica. And it's not by coincidence that her grandfather was a Jamaican. And her grandfather, so-called, was slave owners, right? But Jamaica is owned by China. So it's obvious the whole point of this election is not for Biden. I'm trying to tell people, Biden have too much dirt and too much shit on his back. You see this Biden you see right now? Even the very Chinese government themselves. You see all of these evidence of shit when you talk about um, his son with the laptop with a bunch of shit? It's all blackmailed by China. These young underage girl they talking about his son was involved with, they're Chinese. That means the China government already blackmailed them before they start. So the whole plan was never about Biden. It's for Kamala. The point is for Kamala to be president. It was never about Joe Biden. The moment Biden become president, he will get impeached because he have too much dirt. He commit treason. So the point is for him to get the fuck out so Kamala become president. And who's Kamala? That's why they keep telling you, Jamaica. Who run Jamaica? China. So who's really Kamala? She's a, she's a puppet of the Chinese government. It's all bad. Where's she from? California. Who's on, on California? China. It's, it's, it's all bad. This shit is well calculated. 
This is where we going with this. This shit is well calculated. This is where we at right now. So my point is this. China want to become the superpower of the world, but there's wool to the superpower of the world. In order for you to become superpower, you have to conquer the great America. Okay? You have to ride the whore. You don't see how Kamala get where she get? She was having sex. She was fucking different politician to get where she at. She using what? Her tantra. When you're talking about Indian people, what? Kama Sutra, sex magic. This is how, this is how she get there. She using sexual magic to get there. So now what China want to come to do? Ride the whore to become, in order to rule the world, you have to conquer America to rule the world. So this is where we at. So we are in a very, in a crossroad because that crossroad we call crossroad is only going to happen if we don't get our mind right. If we let this box, if we let this corrupt media to dictate our move or to create or to activate the mind control to make us behave in a way that not going to benefit us. And I'm telling you, folks, this guy you saw here you call Trump, he's the trumpet. There's a book out there. Most of you guys already know it called The Last President. And they believe whoever wrote the book was his son, time travel from the past of today. Now, that's plenty of speculation, right? I said that from way back in the day live whatsoever. Right? Did this book influences or not? My point is this. This is a, a person that, to me, if someone in this world will want to describe a full circle life, like what you call full circle, it's pretty much someone that lived their life to the fullest. Someone that will pretty much don't have nothing to really, when it comes down to experience or to have anything in their mind they would like to do. I think Trump is the perfect example of it because this motherfucker, he lived his life. You know, you have a lot of millionaire or billionaire that mean they went to a process of not having to have. This dude was inherited. He born into billion. And he was around every motherfucker. Everyone that was big and powerful, he was around them. This guy lived his life. He'd been with all the supermodel chick. He smashed model chick. He's been around. He's been around the good one, the good people, the corrupt people. He's around every motherfucker. So this dude, no. This is the first time in history America have somebody that pretty much know everything. Just, just use common sense. The character, not talk about the energy. The energy that, that's behind him is the Baron. Is the gear that he's in the Baron. But his character, if you were to describe Trump as one famous character, he comes out exactly as Bruce Wayne. Trump is Bruce Wayne. And what is Bruce Wayne as a Batman? He's a fucking mastermind. He think ahead. That's why him in the Justice League, he's the brain of Justice League. That's why in the end, he fucks up everyone. And he have no fucking superpower. But he, he his mind constantly thinking his wealth is a superpower. He have unlimited access to get involved in everything. That's Trump. He have unlimited access of shit. This dude know shit. So you think this dude just gonna sit back and watching the very groups of people that he knows, and he knows them best. This is not me and you or any regular folks that decide to run for president and then happen to be president, and then you're going to expose to an all-new lifestyle or shit that you never know about life. You're going to get exposed to them, and then that's how they control you. This motherfucker, ain't none you're going to throw at this nigga to impress him. He's been rich all his fucking life. He knows all every motherfuckers from Michael Jackson, from you name it, he's been around them. You name it, he's, he knows them. So what in this world can impress this dude? This is the common sense we all need to use to think. If this guy decided to be president, it's not because, you know, you're going to find a lot of people say, well, you know, this guy, he's just so greedy. But if he's that greedy, this guy been losing money nonstop. He started a lot of business, this shit lose. So he's constantly at loss. That means there's someone that know how to try and lose. This is someone that's not in this shit to win most of the time. So if, he, if I'm his age, imagine I'm a billionaire, 72 fucking years old. I'm old. You think, you think I want to get that stress? No. 
But what's going to make me do this shit? This is the third time I'm saying the same shit I'm saying right now. For those that probably didn't hear it from before. If I want to bring that stress into my head, that's only one thing that can make me do it. When I'm looking at my children and I'm looking at my grandchildren, you want to know why I'm looking at them? Because the very same circle around him are sick motherfuckers. And he knows them. Because there's an interview of a guy that was within the circle. He was saying how one of the leaders was walking around. He having a conversation and he bring there was a party he have and he bring one of his daughter. We talking about good friends and some was family members. And then the friend come to him. He said, look, I want to fuck your daughter. He said, yo, that's 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 a 14 year old. He said, I know. And he couldn't do shit. This is how perverted these people's circles are. And Trump is around these motherfuckers. So when he's looking at his daughter, his granddaughter, his little baby grandsons, and they growing up, these are praise. These are what these folks devours. So you don't think that it's an that itself is a motivation for him to say, fuck that, I'm trying to be president, to, to trying to change that fucking narrative for those children coming up? <laughs> so this is what we all got to see. Fuck this nigga. We don't have to like him. But we have to respect the fight. We have to honor the fight, not a distraction, honor the fight. So 91% of our sisters vote for vote for, for, um, for the Democrats. And the brothers, most of them vote for Kanye and the other groups vote for Trump. Now, why? He have a prison reform. A lot of our brothers come back home, then go to prison. It's just to show you the ironies of shit. Now, Pay attention to the lynching of the black man on TV. Every single show, the black man is dying or be a bitch. It's not by coincidence. It's because they're trying to separate the greatest force on earth. What is the greatest force on earth? It's the original people. The original people is emitting the most frequency on the earth. That means what we think come to physical existence. How we behave to each other take effect on the reality that we live. Right now, the black woman is the black man is at odd because this is what the media has done. Because we are seeing this shit, so this shit sit in the subconscious. Every time you're watching TV, the black woman don't have a black man. Every time you're watching a commercial, you will see other race as a family. They always have father and mother, but when they get to the black woman, she with the baby without a father. This is not by coincidence. They know what they're doing. Who control the media? The same people that control the media? That against Trump is the same people creating these, what we considered narrative or considered these, you know, commercials or movies. So they have a plan. If you separate the primal forces, then you can rule the world the way you want. But if those two, two primal force get together, whatever they decide, gonna go. So this is where we at. So every single movies, every single show, the black woman's gonna be lesbian and they're gonna be the one ruling shit. You don't see what happened to Will Smith? It was a lynching. They're showing you that the black woman told you, yes, I fuck in your face, so what are you going to do about it? We have an entanglement. It was all a lynching on TV. Who cares? Those two people, they automatically told you they are swingers, so therefore they told you they've been living that lifestyle, but why they make a show so the whole world watch Will Smith about to get embarrassed? This is a ritual of the black men lynching on TV. Lovecraft, final episode. They killed the black man. Again, killed the black man by women. It doesn't matter if she was white or black, but the lynching of a black man is happening to our faces. This is what they do. Because if you destroy, why they do the black man? The black man represent Capricorn energy. The goat. Greatest of all time. That means the leading energy of the world. Woman nurture. Woman give life. Men protect and guide. Women nurture and give life. Men protect and guide. If you remove the protection and the guidance, what do you have? You have nothing. That means you will dictate what's to go. And a lot of people don't know what you consider women. They're not even women. These are transsexual. Men that train, change them fucking self and be they're trying to be women. So they're taking another setback on changing the reality that we live in. This is what they've been doing this shit a long time ago. So this is where we boiling down right now. And for people out there really thinking 
we we are witnessing a fair election. Like I said before, I don't give a fuck about Biden or Trump. The only thing I, I, I care about is order and justice and fairness. Because if this shit go, if we said tomorrow we accept this and Biden become president, all your motherfuckers gonna need to shut the fuck up and wait to put the boot on your motherfucking neck. Because if we allow these folks to create the greatest fraud in election history, then we're going to allow them to do whatever they want with our lives. And we can do shit. And what's so sad, Biden automatically told you, if he come president, he's going to take the guns away. That means he's straight up tell you that he's going to disarm people. That is the Second Amendment off bat that he's going to remove away from people. He tell you automatically that he's going to shut down the United States. That mean off bat, he's going to destroy the middle class, destroy the lower class. That means no more business is going to survive because they barely survive right now. So now if you do another shutdown, they're done. You know what it means? All of you guys are going to depend on what on the system. This is how the new world order come. Biden said it with his mouth. He's a part of the new world order. Let me show you this shit. If you think I'm bullshit. By that time, yo, yo, I'm taking a breather. Get the likes up, y'all. There's 250 50 people up in here. I need to see the shit get in 200, y'all. Come on now. Let's get this shit to 200. Let me show you something while in, in the same process. Get this shit to 200, y'all. Y'all got to see this. Here we go, y'all. For those that can't hear it, I'm going to put it up just now. What, what's, what, what, what's what are you going to say? Look. The affirmative task we have now is, uh, is to actually um, uh, create uh, uh, a new world order. Did you guys hear it? I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it again so you guys can hear it, you know, loud and clear. So you guys don't think like it's bullshit. The affirmative task we have now is uh, is to actually um, uh, create uh, uh, a new world order. So so this is the guy that a lot of our people losing sleep telling you that <laughs> they just want to happen. I'm trying to tell you the MK mind control is succeed, man. This is something like no one can even deny. That's what he said. You can even deny this shit. I'm going to show you another thing that Trump don't even make, need to make a lot of effort to have his case completely passed by Congress. Automatically, he's going to go to the Supreme Court. He's going to win. I'm telling you all that it's not even a struggle because they have too much evidence to get them indicted for, for, for treason. But the concern is, is the aftermath that possibly going to happen because of that. Because they already work IS up. They completely get IS hooked. And a lot of us really believe this shit. So we don't even see it deeper than that. I'm just going to show you something else. You guys get the likes up, yo. Okay. Almost there. Watch this, yo. I want y'all to just hear what he said again. We have put together, I think, the most extensive and inclusive voter fraud organization in the history of American politics. Did you guys hear it? Let me put it back. Hear what he said again. We have put together, I think, the most extensive and inclusive voter fraud organization in the history of American politics. 
So off that, <laughs> he told you he put that means this can't put the biggest voter fraud in American history. Listen, that itself is a question if they bring, which it's going to happen. Because now, see, you're going to have people tell you that he make a mistake. He's done, you know, probably the, you know, the teleprompter, you know, bad writing, but he said it. But let's just say that he did said it. It was a mistake. Now you see how the ancestors work. The spirit make him say shit that he have no business saying. Because this is how they get the evil out of you for what you really are. So now, let's just do this. Let's just act like we outside of both parties, which I'm just trying to, you know, go to all avenues and all different facets or all different angles of the situation. Let's just say that both parties really working together, right? And they doing all of this because... I'm just thinking, and it makes sense too. It's another possible theory that makes sense because for a long time, they've been trying to have this race war. It's, it's always a cop, you know, do this to a black person or a white do this or a black do. They've been trying to get this race war for a long time. Let's just say that right now, it is the possible only way to get this race war is to, to do exactly what you saw they doing. To say that, sorry, Biden was winning. And Trump stole the election, and all the white folks that always stay by Biden. That's why you already have what? In FAC, you have a group of black guy with guns, you know, militia group. And then most athletes told you fuck Trump, they don't like Trump. So you have that that sentiment in the black community of most a lot of black people don't like that motherfucker. Right? So now if you have a group like NFAC, that means someone funded them, someone gave them money, someone is putting money as a militia to arm them. That means they have a resource of an arm sponsored. So let's just say more other group now has been sponsored arm-wise all over the U.S. like that. And now they give you what just happened, like what all we all seen. Now you saw what Biden is winning, right? And they're going to, I guarantee you, the media are going to do it. They're going to declare, they say Biden is president. They're going to say that shit, most likely. Trump automatically told you that he's going to Supreme Court. That was smart of him. But now let's just say they're both working together. So now Biden said they declare as president and Trump, the sore loser in our eyes and the media, which means that's what, what pe our people do, branch into the media shit. So now one side automatically put in their mind, this motherfucker got to go. Now he's no longer president, so I don't have to obey shit from him and shit from what? His people. So they ready to go. They got their gun lock up. Now you have the Trump supporters feel like they stole the shit from us, which is true. They do rig the shit because we never seen the shit in history that a president three about to be three days still not being announced. That mean you're doing shit behind closed door. It's obvious. That's all it is. If you don't if you don't even have enough data to pronounce a president within the third day, which always been pronounced, that mean whatever's been count whatever pre existing. Voting, they are they should be count by now, not waiting at the last minute to do that. That means you've been known that whatever you count at first, don't go your way. That means you have to try to stop the shit and try to think that you're gonna create some other shit around to validate your opinion. That's all it is. So off that, anyone with a logical thinking know that that's some crazy shit going on behind closed door. We gotta put the shit, we just gotta agree with that. So now you have those same group of white folks and Trump supporters. Because they come from all walks of life. Feel like, fuck that. We're not going to sit around and watch these folks taking our shit. This is your fucking race war. This is your race war. So, off bat, this should have many possibilities and many aspects of shit. Now, what do we do? What can we do? Only thing we can do, folks, is to try to find ways to not go against each other and go against the narratives. What we should do is turn off these fucking TVs, man. The media is declare war in the American people and declare war in the world because America is the world. The whole world is watching. And these, four is, these folks is, is, is actually fabricating a shit show to the world. Okay? So whatever going here is going to affect the entire world. And if Trump take this shit to the Supreme Court, folks, the entire world system going to fucking collapse. This is your reset. 
the world going to have to be rebuilt over because this shit go deeper. When General Flynn go testify and he revealed where the body's been buried and other shit, listen, this world going to a reload chaos. And this is where we all need to get the fucking together. Because if we all know the truth, let the Constitution and the justice take place instead of going fighting each other over shit that we have no fucking business doing. Okay? So this is where white, black, Latino, Asian, we should not fall into the narratives in trying to go after each other. The only thing I can say as an advice, turn off this fucking box. Stockpiling on some food. Protect your neighborhood. You got to police your neighborhood. This is not about fucking being Karen. This is not about fucking being so-called white people nosy. Protect your neighborhood. If you start seeing people you never saw, it's your job to fucking ask for an ID or even ask the person, who are you? Because they have foreign folks out there that's going to instigate this shit. If you in an apartment, you saw someone around your apartment complex question his fucking asses. Okay? Because they, if they burnt your shit, this is the beginning of the retaliation. If you don't have a place to live, she's going to get to you. Okay? She's going to get to you. As far as truck drivers, right now in America, if you're a truck driver, you guys are the savior of this nation. Okay? You guys is the savior and the most important job you can have right now in America because America going to depend on you. The survival of America depends on you because the food and the transportation is going to be the engine that keep the shit goes because their job is to create chaos. What you have food shortages. If you have food shortage, you have water supply shortage is what relocation. We cannot have that. We can't not play the game they want us to play because they already told you they have a name they call it dark winter they plan in this bitch but if we fall into their trap that's what we're gonna do that's what we about end up doing playing a role in their movie we should not allow them to be the director we should be out there watching them play themselves because if we don't fall into their trap then they fucked they have nothing to do this election ain't about trump this ain't about Biden. It's about how they trying to, what we call, destroy the very constitution that still upholds your right within this nation. So if we allow these people to get away with this fraud, this fraud is not for Trump I'm talking about. Because what they're doing here is going to reflect on everybody's life. This is a first step of a reflection of what's about to come to us. If we allow this shit to go the way they just doing it, just imagine what's about to come down to everyday life. Just think about that. They will not respect shit. They will not respect a goddamn thing about your life anymore. Because this is the game over. No one can tell you right now this shit is legit. What's happening right now is legit. No one can tell you this shit. If anybody tell you what's happening is legit, you definitely need to disconnect yourself away from that person because it's not about a fan or fanatic. They could have easily declare Biden president, the third. Why they don't do that? I would have respect them the more. Why they don't declare him president? Because they know whatever they count don't add up with Trump count. They know from that time, from the timetable they have, from the third and going down, Trump would have win. But they stopped. I don't care about him. I care about the Constitution. And he was a pro-Constitution holder. This is what's important. So, this is what we have for tonight. Um, there's a movie out. I think it's, it's... You guys probably see it. Some of you guys probably see it. You guys saw the a movie called Spell um, with Warwick, some like that, the guy that played Ghost. <laughs> and... I kind of like it. It was not all that. It called Spell. You guys can go check it out. Um, it was not bad. I kind of like it. It was not, you know, a lot of work. It was pretty much decent. But for some reason, I like the message. And once again, this is what me and Mambo been doing in the last four years. It's to raise awareness about the conditioning 
of our people, which means the spiritual aspect of our roots, of our ancestors. And this movie was strictly about that, about how he was in corporate America and he was a lawyer making all type of money. Him and his family is Asadidi, but never really go about his what is roots. Never go, you know, find out or he did. His father was teaching him about his, you know, magic, about voodoos and shit. But he always was against it. But as he get older, he's completely disconnected from it. Till he have a crash, he was going to a countryside where his people's from and have a crash and end up being rescued by a group of people that was practicing voodoo for a long time. And they was using what bodies? They was constantly transferring their consciousness so they can live longer. So, you know, it's typical movie shit whatsoever. So in the end, he, in order for him to save his family or himself, he have to get to the craft himself. So he learned the craft till he saved himself by learning the craft. So again, they're telling you in the future, and they show you in the end, the last part, as he's leaving the barns, you know, he burned the witch, you want to call it a mumbo, he burned her, you know, but in the back was the American flag as he's leaving. And it was a lot of white people out there as he's leaving. He got that little, you know, um, a little hearse on his arm and he told these people, you fuck with me, I fuck you up. It was white people. So they tell you the only way that white folks will respect you or those in control is when you know your shit. Okay, that part was very good. I can I'm not gonna go in great details into that. So that was a movie called Spell. So for some people here, it, you definitely should give it a look. And that's the deal. So when it comes to Bruce Wayne, aka Trump, in the physical, in the spiritual world, he's the Baron. Um that's that's what's come down to. You know, this guy is not a chump. He knows his shit and he have very smart people around him. And for people who would have thought that a guy, since he set foot in office, they've been trying to plot to get him impeached, you would have thought that the second term, they were not trying to get it easy on him. I mean, it's obvious for people that would have thought this would have been an easy election that he just win, which is if they go straight up, he win. Just look at the map. That's all I'm saying. I mean, if anyone have a brain, look at the map right now. You saw the entire map is red. How Biden is leading with a, a map that's completely red. It just don't make sense. <laughs> that shit is common sense. You don't need brain surgery to see what you see and don't add up with what they tell you. But that's the power of the media. They will forge false narrative to deviate what you see. And this is where now you as an individual, you as a smart person that can think for self, not those that influence to think with others, you think for self, you be asking the right question. Like, what the fuck? This don't add up. What I'm seeing don't make sense. These are the questions we ask. And from that, we should just turn off the bitch. Turn off. Not one media back them up. Not even Fox. Not even Fox. So I said it from before. The same media don't like him will not be the one dictate that he's going to win. They would rather not say he win before they said he win. So this is where we at. You know what I'm saying? So someone was talking about the 21st of December still. Um, let, let me get the question properly. Okay. I said before, they predicted a second wave. See, that's why... Um, you have people like Fauci, you have people like Bill Gates keep saying that it's going to be much worse. A second wave of coronavirus is coming. This is not a second wave of coronavirus. That's coming. This is a second wave of, uh, of solar flare. I said it before. So the same symptoms that we have for some, it's not going to happen to us. Those that have what we considered, I said in the previous slide, those of us that have what we call the mutation because the mutation happened. What happened to us is a mutation. When you don't have the smell, when you can smell, you don't have taste, your, ha your head is light, it's a mutation. Your body is learning that new energy that comes in. So it have to rewire itself. Like I said before, just like a computer, they have an update. The computer have to restart itself. They have to shut down and do all that. That's what's about to happen again. The December 21st, another solar flare going to hit the planet. I said it. It's not going to be what we think it is. It's because I said Earth is a dimension. And from that dimension, we have gas station, just like car. If you're going to travel long distance, you have to stop to get gas, get fuel. Our solar is what we call a gas station. Megaton ship. These are not spacecraft. They do not travel space. It's an illusion. That space ship is an illusion. Wormhole or dimensional, interdimensional portals are the truth. 
We travel dimension, not planet. We travel dimension. So when these craft come to our solar dimensional system, they need to charge the fuck up to take another travel system. So when they come here, they charge up to our solar. So that means that's a lot of solar activity because they need a tons of energy to charge up. We're talking about 150 mile long craft, shit that's bigger than Earth itself. So they have to charge them shit. So when these ships is around, the, the solar activity increasing. So therefore, because they're absorbing shit. So they charge out tons of energy. So the earth, the solar activity is increased. So when they're jumping out of here, when they jump that dimension to be out of here, they have a significant amount of a force field proportion or, um, um, solar wind activity. So this is what's about to hit us. And when this shit hit our body, for those that already passed the mutation, we don't have to worry about that. So that means our body, our immune system automatically download that process that means it's in our what our file within our dna file we know what it's like so when that second wave come from us for us we good we're not gonna go to that process again so other people because our body automatically have an update and that update is what gamma raid reader it's almost like you download a new software or you download a new program in order to read other program that's what happened to people that have what we call the, the mutation process. That means we already do the download. Download is there. So when that other software come back, we'll be able to read it. Other people that don't download the shit, you're going to go to the process. A lot of people are going to get sick. It's not sickness. It's mutation. Because you have a group of people that shield themselves. They constantly put hand sanitizer. They constantly clean themselves. That means they don't have, they don't build the immunity. That means their body's not exposed to the radiation and whatever bacteria comes with the radiation the body didn't decipher it yet so when that second wave come they fuck and again you around the winter now lack of solar so whatever people that live in area with lack of sun they gonna be the one they're gonna get sick the most so this shit ain't gonna arm us this shit will never be able to arm us so we don't have to worry about that this is not a uh, um our problem so I see. A, I have a discovery, y'all. This is just funny how the universe works. I remember the last live I, I was doing. Um, I was talking about a loi, um, one of the spirit loi that call um, um uh, you call a um, Langley Sioux, right? Langley Sioux by Saint Saint. And as I was talking about it, I told you guys Langley Sioux is a loi that comes with the Moors, and this is a very ancient loi. This is the first time when the Columbus groups of Moor that come here. And they come in the boat of Imamu. Imamu is the is a was a Moorish. This way, when you heard about Agui and all these spirit, there's a they are Moors energy. When they told you Bookman assists the ceremony Bwakai Iman, Bookman was that's why they call it the Bookman. He was a Moor. The Moor carry Islamic book. Okay, so those are he was a Moor himself. They don't say that. They trying to say that he was a slave. No, when he come into IT, he come with. A lot of other people with him. He come with boat with guns. He was someone that supplied guns and he know what he was doing. Okay. He's someone that can read and write. Okay. So if if you're a fucking slave, how the fuck you have a book? How are you gonna read it when slave was not supposed to, to, to read? How you have the book? It's just to show you they're not telling you the truth. But if they tell you that he was a more than it makes you in the higher conversation, it shows you that you was not a fucking slave. That means you were someone that know what. Law, universal laws. Okay, that means you win the war was much more than a slave. You were someone that know how to do treaty and contract and law. They don't want to put you into this pedestal. They want to keep you as slave as possible, so everybody look at you like a ungrateful animal. Okay, so that spirit comes with the Moors, and I was explaining in the other video. In l'anglais sous bassin son, in l'anglais sous, it's none other. Then Vlad, okay? When you call Vlad, is your Dracula. Because what was Dracula? Dracula, if you heard the story, Dracula was more. He was a more, okay? He was a Ottoman. He was in the Ottoman Empire. So who he was going to war with? They was going to war with Rome, the Vatican. This is where the Crusaders, when they said the Crusade War, the Quasad get, this is the more in them. They, they have different classification to hide the more. They call it the Ottoman Empire. It was the Moors. So there's a book 
that was published. I have to share this with y'all to just show you the same night I was talking about Lingler Sue, someone just released this evidence about saying that the first vampire was black. And this is fact. I mean, this is just crazy. Just to show you how the universe works, I'm just going to show you um, the, the narrative they have in there. And nobody had the ideas about it. And I'm going to make an episode of my series about that law. And one of the episodes I'm going to have, I'm going to have for Lenglet Su. I'm going to have for Different Spirit, a short film about Different Spirit. Now, here's the deal with Lenglet Su, y'all. There's a book. You guys can go, go look for that book. This is how the book look. Look for it. This is the book. For people here, go read it. Go read it. Okay? Go read it. Look for it. Okay? They call it the Black Vampire. The Legend of Saint-Domain. It happened in IET. Okay? It happened in IET. This book was written in, the, in 1819. This book was written in 1819 by people that witnessed the shit. Okay, that they have that so-called a person, a slave that have that spirit inside of them. They so-called said is a vampire spirit that he moved faster. He jumped. He can run faster. And some said he can even teleport and he can communicate with wolf dogs. Okay, so again, they take our story from IT and they switch it. But the funny thing is, when you heard about Lingle Su, when you have people that have that law, it's obvious. But people, you know, a lot of people couldn't put connect the dot. Lingle Su, he ate glass. And he constantly told you, I need blood, which is true. You have to make a little, if you have a little, I mean, because, you know, most people don't have pool, but you just got to create a little bucket area and put blood for him. So... Ask yourself why. D that's the spirit. When he eat the glasses, is the vampirism. What vampires are afraid? They do not like glasses. They constantly shatter the glass because they couldn't see themselves. Because what they are spirit. Spirit, you cannot see a spirit. That's what they're trying to tell you. Lingle Su, when he come, he constantly tell you when you're gonna come to my palace. He told you he have what? A palace, a big blood. What they always show you with vampire. They got palace, big, big style, cathedral, cathedral style looking shit. It's your Lingle Su. Okay? So this is how voodoo is power because all of these characters they create is right there in our history. So I'm going to make this short film about Lingle Su is one of the episodes I'm going to do. And um, this is going to be epic, y'all. The story I have, oh my goodness, this is going to blow your fucking mind up. I have a storyline that's going to be crazy. I'm telling y'all, this is going to be crazy. So stay tuned, y'all. This is going to be dope as hell. So... This is uh, what we have in the conversation for the night. About to take a couple questions, and then we get to two, 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 two. I mean, the the two hour mark, and we'll be definitely the Empire in New York. Yeah, that would that would that was a start for me. But you know, the funny thing is, Eddie Murphy played a good role. I think you have Angela Bassett was in there. She was phenomenal. But it's just like how we constantly thinking like it was someone else's culture. But understand. Langley Sue story, like based to how I'm going to do it, I'm not going to show you that, you know, she's about, I mean, he, that's a he, he's about killing people like that. There's a reason behind it. I'm going to keep the story confidential. I'm not going to explain to you how the entire shit going to go, but just know this is about to be crazy. Though. It's about the storyline going to be oh, off the mark. But um, yeah. This is where they get it from. Um, what else? What we got? Uh, um, you have a lot of spirit in Voodoo. Like that's a spirit called Jabankat. Um, when this law come in, you pretty much you gotta give him a bull. And what he did is stab the bull in the neck and drink the drink the blood. I've seen this before. I have a family member that does that. Um, they call Jabankat. He drink blood. This is via vampirism, if you want to call it like that. But, you know, we live in a world that have different ways of expression. And, and you know, we either know each of them have their time in what we call dark arts. And these shit only perform at night. So dark, dark arts, it's considered the other sides of life that we will not be able to accept 
and within the public of light, if you want to call it like that. So just just download it, just read it, yo. It's very important. Y'all just get it. And that's the reason why they turned IET to what we call the capital world of magic, the capital world of ritual. And they will make sure they keep as, as much misery and poverty because if you keep the population in misery and poverty, then you'll be able to infiltrate and do whatever you want. Imagine IET is doing good. We have a radar system. We no longer going to allow people travel without being detected as radar. We have an airport system. They have top-notch security. So we know who's comes in, who's comes out. We make sure every road have lights. We have good roads so people can travel. People have education. They know what they're saying. They'll be able to read and write. We have a, a telephone system that is working, worked apart. Pretty much we'll be able to track. That's why, like, right now there's a big problem over there with a, with what you consider people being kidnapped for ransom. This should become an industry over there in IET. There's people being kidnapped for ransom. And one of, like, I don't even know why people even entertain this ideology. I mean, I call it an ideology because it's a joke. Because the only way for you to stop any sorts of kidnapping, the number one reason or the number one cause of it is the tele telecommunication system. Telecommunication system is the telephone system. The telecommunication uh, system, it's the number one reason people being kidnapped. And the, the, if you want to find out where they're located or who's behind it, go find out. And that's why I think in IET, the biggest terrorist in IET right now is DG Cell or the phone communication system. All of them are foreign. You know, not only they are robbing the people, you pretty much get nearly like 45 cent per minute or 35 cent per minute. This is insanity. You're talking about a poor nation and you charge them freaking 35 to 40 cent per minute. So they don't even have a natural what we call telephone system. Pretty much. They just everything got to be by card. So you, they are raping the population blind. So basically, people being kidnapped every single time and asked for large amount of ransom. We talk about one hundred fifty thousand dollars. Poor people, regular jokes. They doing that shit, but they can never find the people, or they can never find the the, the, the engines of it, or to find who's behind it. Because why? Because it tells you that people in our ups within the government are involved. It's obvious. Like I don't understand if I was a government and this should become a cancer in my nation. We're the first place to knock. We're the first door to knock. Go into these communication systems and ask, okay, I want to track this phone because everything is data. If you if if I'm buying card, that means each card that get the number have a SIM. And each, each SIM have these cards have a number. So you'll be able to track. Because remember, the same people that are asking you for ransom, they still have to call you to tell you when and where to go get the fucking money. So that means that's a communication communication line that stay open within the same group of people and the bank are involved that's what i'm trying to tell people man this fucking nation need a reckoning yo because it don't make sense all the institution that's supposed to be reputable are all fucking corrupt and the people keep playing games so now they want to act like okay they this young girl just died now why not go with the real question all these fucking um, phone company accountable and all these bank fucking accountable. Because when these money comes in, someone going to bank and just fucking deposit the bitch. Okay? That means that's a bank transaction. So the money the bank can offer these people, they can easily put a tracker on the shit. You put a tracker on the fucking money when you give the ransom, the money there's a tracker. That means you'll be able to track the fucking result. You'll be able to track the cartel. Why they don't do it? I'm convinced. This is not a regular problem. This is not a regular Joe problem. Whatever's happened over there is constitutional and is the higher ups within the governments are involved because it's that fucking simple. So if I can see, if you don't think other people see this shit, that the bank and the fucking phone company are involved. So it should be an uprising and a lawsuit going against DG Cell and any other company, not come DG Cell. Those companies need to get, they need to face the Supreme Court. If IET couldn't do it, they need to face international court and ask these real questions. How all this shit happened, nobody can catch nobody. You know what I'm saying? So that itself should tell you something, man. So we'll put this shit to rest for as far as right now. Um, uh, what we got? 
what are some questions that we got for the now? What are some questions? Um, Thank you, Lex Carter. That's what's up, man. Oh, yeah. Okay. I know you here. All right. Let me get some questions here. Let me get some of that lights up. Try to match the amount of people here. Yeah, we are like two and a half, so they just match it. What we got? Someone said, what is the difference between the spirit and the soul? It's quick and easy. I answered this a trillion times. The difference between soul and spirit, what you call spirit, no, what you call the soul is the evolution state of a spirit. Everything have a spirit. The spirit is the animator. The spirit is the is what you call the breath decipher. Anything with a breath exists. That mean if you have to interface with breath, that means you you occupy a flesh or you occupy a density, you occupy a matter. So if you have, if you dealing with that, then you're in the physical body. So that means you have a spirit. Okay, that means you have a breath interface. Now a soul, a soul is the evolution state. Of a spirit that mean whatever what you learn everything you gathered from the consciousness because everything you interact with have a form of consciousness so consciousness is based on your experience and your experience can have different ways of attach itself and build itself so what you call soul is the evolution state of a spirit so that's the difference i hope i explain it the way that makes sense to you i guess okay so this is the difference of a spirit and the soul um, let me put it this way in the IT community, they have this guy, his name is, he's a, he's a good teacher. I give him kudos. His name is Bilolo Congo. A lot of stuff he said, I agree with because we, we've been putting shit out there since like six years ago, me and Mambo been putting shit out. We've been doing the legwork and I'm proudly and gladly saying this shit. And I don't give a Fuck what people have to say. If voodoo is trending today, is the good work of me and her and the ancestors that chose us to do it. Okay? Because we put voodoo on the fucking map. From what we saying from even TV producers, if you guys watching shows like Sabrina the Teenage Witch, we have people from this shit seeing our shit tell us that, that yo, we like what y'all doing. They put our intake into the fucking show. So we putting our work, our work out there is influencing people left and right. So Kudos to the effort of the people that constantly keep us in the line of walking the path. So kudos to you guys, too, that keep us in check to do such things. So this master teacher, like he said a lot of stuff. But the only problem I have with him is the fact that he don't give a fuck about the native at whatsoever. He only talk everything in voodoo to him is the African thing when he can even prove the shit. So that's my only problem with him. Everything is Africa, Africa, Africa. No, it's not true. It's not true, okay? The native was already there. That this is the native's land, okay? So therefore, the native have because one of the problems, like one of the things that people don't notice, okay? When you talk about the gay days, what people need to know this practice of celebrate the dead stuff. You trying to act like it's just you know it's a church thing, you know? Because you know a lot of us still have that influence from the domination of the church. We know that. But this practice was strictly by the native. The native been doing this shit way before the conquistadors set foot here in other groups. That's why if you see Peru, you look at the entire like South America, they celebrate the dead, man. And what they do, they all put that white things into their face. That's the gay day, man. This is a tradition of the natives. Go find out into the murals of all the ancient Aztecs or area of the natives. You're going to see they got skull in their hands. Some even wear the skull. Some always put painting of white things. in. They celebrate the dead. This is a practice of the natives, man. So a lot of shit in voodoo. The zombie, you trying to say that the zombie comes from Africa. No, the zombie practice is the native that been doing this shit, bruh. This is, <laughs> I mean, this is the thing. Like, you trying to constantly bring one side of the spirituality that everything comes from Africa, which I don't blame him. This is another form of a narrative that they gave us. 
And again, he identify as Africa. I don't identify Africa because Africa mean you are conquered by Sopio Africanus, which mean a European Roman general that ruled Africa and he named Africa after himself. So that's why I don't call myself African. Okay. If I want to associate myself with my ancestors come from that region, I call myself a Kabbalan. I call myself Ethiopian. I call myself Gaian. You know what I'm saying? Because Earth called Tiamat and Gaia. All of this is, is the name my ancestors usually call that region. African in one. So my point is where some of our ancestors, only 7% of our ancestors come here. Okay? And if it was African, why Dessaline don't call the army African army? He could have called his army the African army. He called it indigenous. If he called his army the indigenous, that means it was the native army. That's what it means. Slave could not win a war that they don't know how to get to. Listen, the only way you'll be able to win a war if you know the terrain, if you know the environment. Come on, people. So this is the only problem I have with him. He ignored that knowledge or he ignored it just to fit the narrative that we all been brainwashed to believe. Okay? Some of our ancestors come here, but not all of us. And the people that win the war are the native because they've been at war with those foreign people before the African comes in. Before African comes to the shore, they already been warring with the Nate with the outsiders. Okay. So if anyone know better tactic to win the war or to fight the people, it's them. Not slave that constantly being you know under surveillance of being under why they watching you constantly they beating your ass you have nothing how you gonna win they bring you from a different country you don't even know the the terrain you don't even know the land how you gonna win you can't someone have to teach you someone have to tell you the native did okay so that's the reason why destiny call his army the indigenous army it's not by coincidence he call it the indigenous he could have called it the African army. He could have called it the Bosal army. He called it the indigenous because they were the indigenous leading. Okay? If African was, is all voodoo come from Africa, why in Africa we don't have veves? Why there's no veves in African spirituality when it comes to Ifa and stuff like that? There's no veve. The veve was the native traditional sigils of, of magic. Okay? So you have a groups of African come here, they bring some of it, they make voodoo better because there's a fusion between people from that region from Africa and the natives here, and they make the shit what it is, a giant. This is, this is what he, he failed to do. That's why, like, a lot of shit he's saying, I'm like, yo, come on, bro, you know better. Why are you saying it like this? But no one want to challenge him to that. I'm not discredited. He said a lot. He said more good shit than bad. But my only problem with him is when he get to that particular part. Because he's trying to Africanize the entire shit like that was nobody living here and they just come here and they just do this. No, that's bullshit. Okay. I have plenty of video to come in to explain even more when it comes to the IET voodoo. Me and Mumble have seg. We've been so busy doing so many shit left and right. I have segments of stuff that I'm going to show you different things they've been hiding from us and they're not talking about. Okay. So that part, I just got to leave it. So when you're talking about Makaya and Simbi, listen, man, that's a lot of stories and a lot of things. I'm not going to be able to tell you what I think about it. I would think I will be explaining stuff that I'm more knowledgeable of, because if I start saying things that don't match what we call the, the narratives out there, people are going to start to think that I don't know. For that reason, I just leave it alone for now. But all I know, when you talk about the Simbis, you talk about La Siren, those are guardian of the Americas. These are spirit living on the water that guards the American. Okay? When Columbus come here, they was facing a tons of these spirits. They saw a lot of mermaids attacked to them. If you saw the, 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 go watch the movie, Pirates of the Caribbean. The Caribbean they was talking about is IT. Okay? Your Jack Spiral, he was a gated. They always get this spirit. They always dead. So in reality, they was the gated spirit alive. Okay? So go watch this show. You'll see it when they was attacked. They shipped. These were like document evidence that in Columbus in different voyage, these Moors, when they come here, they encounter with these spirits. Okay. So this was like one of them stuff I did. Uh, I think I'm, 
Maybe like six more minutes, we reach the mark. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, Lingli Su, it's L it's L E N G L G L A. Let me write it for you. Lingli Su, it's That's how it's spelling. We are. I just write it down for y'all. Okay, if you can't remember your dream, that's three possible scenario that can lead you to not remember your dream. One of the possible one is is due to the fact that your pineal gland is completely. I'm not saying it's shut, but it's damaged. That means certain food intake can help it. That's one. That's the light sides of it, the very physical aspects of it. The second one is the vibration of your environment. That means you living in an environment that probably have a lot of low frequency. So you your body could not create the resonance field where your brain will be able to tap into the light realm. That means too many people around you vibrate in the lower so your force field is not higher enough. That's possible two. And possible three, then you probably have what we considered blockage behind your head. Blockage behind your head is pretty much spirit they are calcify. A calcified spirit is what you will call like like in in, in a Haitian term, esprit au mari. That means you have spirit that walk behind you that they completely lock. You have to unlock these spirit. So they block it. You. This is like a form of your eyes is being covered, you know? So if you don't untie them, then you cannot dream properly. So this is where you have what you call la vetette. A la vetette can definitely lead you for your third eye to open. And your third eye, people always said third, a third eye is pretty much spirit eye. That means guard your, your other eyes from your guardian spirit, spirit that live on the other side. That means the light realm. They are the eye for you. That means they'll see things that you'll be able to see before it happens to you. Or they make you see the future. Or they make you see what's about to happen. Or they make you see things for your loved ones. That means they are the set of eyes that will look out for you. That is the third eye. People get the shit confused. The third eye is not your eye. It's the eye of the spirit well. That means the spirit that's around you is watching for you. Okay? So la vetette can come to another form of doing it. And this is a very delicate situation. This is not something that I highly recommended people to just go do because it's hard to find trustworthy people out there to do stuff like that. You know, us, when it comes down to this, it's, it's trip to IET. We got to go over there to do shit. You know, we, we, we do shit strictly by the book, which is straight up to the land where they live and let the spirit do what they need to do. We ain't got no power to do shit ourselves. We let the spirit take care of what needs to be taken care of. So a la vetette is the last resort. And I think this is something you, you should be considering as far to be a part of your agenda. Pretty much you put that on the book. Like, okay, I'm going to prepare myself one day and I will go down there to just take care of that shit. That is one part of it. This is a commitment. You just don't, you know, decide to give that up or feel like you can just do it whenever you want. It's a commitment and it requires a lot of dedication to do because this is a lot of people that I heard have stories and I have friends that I heard that, which is true, you go have a lot of that and you probably have a, a set of spirit that was behind your head that they was like, they was locked, they was there, but they was locked. Instead of having the people unlock these spirits for you, they end up stolen them. <laughs> So this shit is crazy. This is a many story like that. People have a lot of it after that. Their life is completely ruined because they stole the spirit that was around them. They're supposed to guide them. Someone know how to remove them. They took it and you end up not having shit. But after the that shit got even worse. Or you go to do a lot of it, the spirit that with you don't even like the person that about to perform the shit. So now you have even more fucking problem because of that. So Highly recommended to be fucking with a very trustworthy person and do your research and to just know because this is the last resort. That's, I told you, three different steps out of it, but the last step is the hardest one and the most dangerous one, and that can lead to even more problem if you're not dealing with the right person.
Um, let's see what you got. Matilda Queen, if you seen, if you saw the shits like this, is pretty much your what we call your spirit guide. They are very active with you, and they are seeing things and make you see it. So that's good. That's good signs. So they, your spirit guide is definitely in synchronicity with you. So everything is is acting how it's supposed to be. Um, hey, what's up, Matt? Huh? Glad you make it too. So, do you think the reptilian entity infiltrate voodoo? Listen, people, I'm gonna tell you this, um, brother Terry, bro, bro, borderline Terry. Let me put this shit to you. Every time you're hearing people talk about reptilian, these are clowns. I'm sorry to tell you this, but they are clowns. Okay, these are people that pushing narrative or pushing an agenda or. They are hearing people saying shit and they are saying this shit too, just to sound like they know something or to be able to fit certain demographic of a, what we consider the narrative, you know, the narrators or to tell you like when you hear me saying you feel like, oh, you hear that from this person? Yeah, it might be true. It's bullshit. Reptilian don't fucking exist. Okay. What you call reptilian, it's us. It's us. Black people is the reptilian. We have reptilian DNA. Okay. So if you consider a lizard person, we are lizard. The reason why we look like this is because we are stuck into our evolution state, okay? This is a part of our genetic makeup, okay? We have the ability to shape shift, okay? When you heard people say Lugau, Lugau is another form of two aspects of shape shifting. You have astral projecting shape shifting and you have physical shape shift. You have people that project their consciousness to animal like cat like dogs, like goat. That has happened a lot. Have family member that do shit like that? That shit is easy shit based on what you need to know. And a certain spirit will be able to do it, okay? It's, it's, it's projecting your essence into animals. That's why people that in big habitation have different type of animals in their houses. Some people want to travel late night, they trans they, they project themselves to an owl. I see a little sweat. This is another form of projecting essence. This is called avatar projection, okay? Then you have shape-shifting. Shape-shifting, it have nothing to do with what you consider reptilian other entity. I told you, inside of our DNA, we have dormant different species inside of us. We are the ultimate beings. Everything you saw into Mother Nature is inside of us, okay? So everything you saw exists we are the evolution states of it. When they say reptilian, is to make us afraid of who we are, okay? When they told you snake, we are fucking snake. If we remove my head and my spinal cord, this was a, that's just pretty much a snake living inside of this fucking body. If you remove my head and my spinal, it's a, it's a snake, okay? When you're inside of your mom, when you call the little sperm, it's a tadpole. It, it just, it's right there. It's a snake. So that's why ancestors always align ourselves with this shit. We are snakes, Okay, I have body part. I have physiology. I have some in my mouth. If I show the people, they would not believe it. It looked just like a cobra. Okay, and I can project like I'm not going to explain the shit. So my point is this: anyone tell you knew that reptilian, this reptilian, that is bullshit. There's no such thing as reptilian. Okay, it's all what we call spookism or agenda to hide people from who they were, who they really are. This is another form of telling people that you know. Um, just like they told you Satan. Oh, Satan exists. It's another scapegoat. It's another form of people hiding and not taking responsibility for what the fuck they do. You fucking kill someone instead of say, yo, I, I did it and I'm ready to pay the price for what I've done. You said Satan make me do it. This is the same shit. Now you have a bunch of people fucking shit up. A lot of bloodline families doing fuck shit in the world and now they want to hide themselves instead of knowing that this is this family did it now you said this reptilian family so they constantly doing bullshit to deviate you from the truth instead of knowing what it is you instead thinking like it's something higher or something else no bullshit now i want people to know what you call your 13 bloodline or your family these folks is none other it's none other than your ancestors Children, grandchildren, children, children, okay? The nobilities of these family come from us. 
they washing out their blood. That means they start having babies with lighter skin than white people, and they start washing out the melanin. Every single bloodline that ruled the world comes from us, the nobility, because nobility comes from us. You talk about the ancient kings, queens, and moors, all of them. Those are the big. It's just like giving you the perfect example. Look, look, Michael Jordan. You think if you give Michael Jordan a hundred years from now, you think you're gonna see Michael Jordan the way they moving? You think you're gonna see Michael Jordan descendant gonna be black? No, they all gonna be white or mulattoes. This is what's been happened to our existence way in the past. They keep washing out the blood till they become white. Okay, that's what's been happened forever now and now. All your so-called bloodline, they all was nothing but black nobility that's washing out, okay? It's all a lie. When you talk about Greece, Greece was nothing but black folks all over. All the stats you show you the shit, they show you the Spartan, all the Spartan walking when they was black people. They, they have pottery, they have a pottery depicted the Spartan. The Spartan was black with fucking spear killing they show you who they was going like war as enemies. And we know who they were? Pale skinned people. So they show you the black Spartan killing a pale skinned person. So off bad, they told you that Greece was black. Okay? So when you think about the history of Greece, did you know IET sent ship and soldiers and gun to go liberate Greece? IET sent ship guns, money, and soldiers to go to Greece and help them win their independence to go fight war, Greece? Yo, you don't understand. This media is not something that's been happening today. These people rewrite history, y'all. They completely switch every fucking thing in the book. Look at the book about vampire. This book was in 1819. 1819. But nobody say shit, though. But every time you open TV about vampires, you saw them shit. Less what? Vampires are always about British or old renaissance of white people. But you never dare to think this is a part of IT history. But all along, we have the Luado. Linglesu is the vampire. But no one questions shit because no one make the education. Because we don't know. Because we've been brainwashed. This is the same thing. What you call your bloodline is black people that have been having babies with other groups and they, those groups now start having babies with themselves, i.e., I explain it. One mulatto person, it's one step away of become white. Look out, Drake. I take another example the same way I did it last time. Drake is what? A mulatto. Drake go have a baby with another white French, a French stripper. Guess what? The baby come out blonde hair, blue eyes. So he's pure white. It's one generation away to wash out the black blood. That's what they did. Do you know what was the number one, the number one um, um, preference of the Moors or the number one pleasure for the Moors? It's blonde hair, blue eyes women. They used to buy them as slave. That's why you get the term slave. It comes from Slovakia, the Slavics. The Slavic was doing a, a business, a, and that was an industry. The Slavic industry was human trafficking. And you know what was the most making money human trafficking? White women. White women was what you consider your first traditional whores. They was the one that get the first abuse. But no one talk about that because they don't want people to know that. Because if all this shit comes out, then they will realize we all in this bullshit together. We all suffer from the injustice together. But they hide these histories. They want to make this shit as solely about you. Oh, you was a slave. But in reality, the first slave terminology come from Europe and these women was the primal industry. Europe, people from certain area from Slovakia, they, a lot of them was what you call, um, they suffer albinism. It was a lot of blonde hair albinism one with red hair or um, um, blonde hair. The Moors was buying them because the Moors they was doing, they was having sex magic with these women because the Moors was what? Magis, the keepers of secret, the keepers of, uh, of knowledge, okay? So when they get these women, they perform sex rituals with them. After sex, they kill them. This is what you get. You see, when people talking about, oh, the, the, you, you know what I'm talking about, Masons, the people, the first steps of your Masons was Moors, okay? Why you think when the Masons about to do ritual or your Satanists, they all have a pentagram. 
Where do you think they get this pentagram? You never see the Morocco flag? This is Moorish. The pentagram is Moorish. It's yin yang. It's all Moorish. This is where the magic, all your Western magic, not Western, your Eastern magic, what's what they call your Eastern star. This is Moorish they talk about. Eastern star, Eastern star. This is the Moorish star, what they call today stars of David and include other ones. It was all Moorish magic. So when they have sex with these women, why do you think Hollywood always showing you that when they're about to have sexual magic, that's a sacrifice. That's what the Moors was doing. After they have sex, they kill all these women. Why do you think the practice is still happening in Africa? They hunt albinos. They chop them for body parts for magical. This is an ancient practice by the fucking Moors. So mo a lot of these women, some of them survive because they're pregnant. And they give birth to these mulatto children. So what do you think the mulatto children are going to do when they, hear, when they hear stories about their fathers? When they hear stories about how their mother been bought and used as a, as a sex object? Do you think they're going to take the side of their father? No. They're going to take the mother's side. They're going to feel victimized. And these children now go back to their mother genetic. They go back with their mother's side. They start having baby with their mother's side. So now they're washing out the blood. And now the very same Moors, they have these kids, some of these children, they kept those children. Even though they call them bastard children, they kept them. So what do you think happened after the war? When the Moors start to die off, they children inherit the fucking land. They inherit the nobility. So now you have those mulatto children inherit the nobility of those Moors. So now they start having babies with other European ones after the crusade. And then they become what you call the orders of bloodlines. So all your fucking 13 bloodline come from your fucking ancestors in the first place. Okay? So they're hype. Oh, you know, 13 reptilian blood bullshit. Ain't no such thing as reptilian. Reptilian is us. This is a part of our evol evolution state. That means if we go to a place, if we go to a planetary system, or if we go to, to a different force field system, our genetic sequence, because remember, Earth have a what we call a secret geometry of adaptation. Understand, Earth have a secret geometry of adaptation. You see how our heart is beating right now? Every time my heart beat, there's a secret geometry that it takes shape from. That shape is how our body adapts to every cells of our body to create this physiology you're looking at. That means there's a sound and frequency that keeps us to look like this. You cannot hear it, but there's a megahertz of alpha right now that's creating a force field around us that keep us to look like this. That means if we go away from this earth, this mega earth of alpha beta frequency, whatever shape that frequency emitting, our DNA will take shape of it and would shape shift our body to adapt to that force field. So yes, we the fucking reptilian. And it's a distraction what they're trying to do, okay? So I just leave this shit the way I, I mean, as far as that. A movie you need to go watch is uh, uh, Star Trek. Go watch Star Trek. The last one, it was with Idris Alba. Idris Alba was a reptilian in there. There's a reason why they constantly make everything about reptilian is always a black person. They ain't fucking stupid. They're telling you the truth. Go watch the, the, the movie about Idris, Idris Alba. He was a reptilian. But when he go to Earth, when he was away from Earth, he's a reptilian. But when he go back to Earth, he ship ship as a human. They know your truth. These movies, they're not just for entertainment. They know who you are. Go watch Conan, okay? With with the first Conan. Guess what? Earl Earl um, what was his name? Earl Jones. He was what? A goddamn snake. He shape shift to a snake. They know your shit, man. This is a distraction, like I said. Anyway, shout out to you to Matilda Queen. Um, I think I reached the limit. God damn it, man. The time just. Oh my lord, the time just fly, man. Don't even feel like it was all that time, man. All that time. All right, brothers and sisters, man, just share the live. And I hope I answered the most that I could for now. Um, let's see. Uh, go look. I mean, I'm not sure who's the author, but I'm, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to see it. I look up, I mean, I look over and I write it down, I guess. Um, all right, brothers and sisters.
I think I'm going to call it quit for the night. So thank you for the live. And um, we're going to start doing the movie stuff, man. This is where we at. We're going to start come out with a, we're going to come out with a, a, a web series. And it's going to be solely based on our story, the spirituality. I'm going to make short film about it, probably 15 minutes per episode. And it's going to be based on these spirits, you know. So I have to do the English Sue. Um, he's gonna call English Sue. He's gonna call English Sue Blood Pool. I'm gonna do the Ogu. I'm gonna do the Ogu. I'm gonna do a Frida. Um, I think those three is 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 definite. It's guaranteed. We're gonna have a Ogu, a Frida, and English Sue, and um, the other ones is gonna be in the work in between. So that's the thing. Yeah, someone write the, write the name right now. He called The Black Vampire, Legend of Sindomain by Ouya Derek R.C. So whoever was looking for the name of the author, you'll be able to go out there. You'll be able to download it in the first place. Um, that's the deal, yo. But um, yeah, um, that's the deal, y'all. Thank you for the night. And everybody, I appreciate, you know, you guys made it. I just want to have a clarification for the night so we know what the fuck is happening so we don't lose our shit. Just like everybody get their mind in suspension right now. Everybody just wondering or like trying to find out what the fuck next. I said it and we all know it for the night. It's just a game plan but we just got to be smart so we don't fall into their trap. We're going to need all of us to really get our mind together so we don't fall into their trap. Thank you everyone and um Godspeed to everything we're about to do. Shout out to everybody, man. Uh, what's that best video by far? Uh, I guess all of them is special. But if it feels like that to you, kudos to you and I appreciate it. And I'm glad that if you feel it like that, then I feel like I said something that makes sense and it, it resonates with you, then it's going to resonate to the next person. Then the job is getting itself done and that's what we need to do. To what we're doing right now. All right, so um, good night, everyone, and Godspeed. And we got to make the shit happen. And shout out to some of the people that I said in name. Ara Wax Prince, Neg Pam Kijonye. Kudos to you, brother. I'm glad you make it. I ain't seen you for a little bit. Um, I I am Ken Dake, Brooklyn. What's up? I'm leaving for people that I, I forgot to say earlier. Bell Fum. Um, what else? Uh, I think that's it, you know. Um, all right, everybody. Good night and safe travel, everybody else. I hope you shed a life and you shed a knowledge for loved one. We're going to need all of us in order to walk this path. All right. Good night and peace.